Good afternoon again. This is Occupier Caitlin. We are approaching the corporate office of Raccoon Valley Partners, which is the owner of several McDonald's franchises in in the metro area. You deserve a break today. And uh, we will present a letter. It will be read in English and Spanish. And uh, it's a small space, so we will crowd in there, but we will do the best we can with it. Exactly. Okay, you guys gotta move fast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What? Are we already full? No, there's like, there's like two so doors left, so we're not two and one. Okay. If you want to crowd, come around the door here. Okay. Yeah, let's show our numbers. Let's yeah, just share your information. We're actually here with a group called Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement and workers at the McDonald's at the Raccoon Valley Partners. Um, we're here in unison with the national movement for the fight for 15 uh, to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Our state legislators have failed to do so, and so we would like um, to ask local franchisee owners to take the initiative and lead by example and raise their minimum wage. Um, and we'd like to present a letter, if that's okay. We're going to do it in English and in Spanish, if that's fine. Okay. That's okay. You can go ahead and listen. Go ahead, Patrick. The, the English and Spanish will be the same. This letter is for Steve Madison. Today, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement members join thousands of workers across the country standing up for a $15 an hour minimum wage and better working conditions. Steve Matson, hoy día miembros de Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement unieron a miles de trabajadores en todo el país que demandan un salario mínimo de 15 dólares cada hora y condiciones mejores en el trabajo. We visited your store at Sixton University today because we believe all of your employees deserve a raise to $15 an hour. We stand in solidarity with them and others across the country who are fighting for better wages. Hoy día visitamos su, su tienda en uh, 60 y uh, Universidad en Des Moines y sus trabajadores porque pensamos que todos sus empleados merecen un aumento de salario de 15 dólares cada hora, un salario soportable. Estamos en solidaridad con estas, uh, estos trabajadores y todos en el país que luchan por salarios soportables. The income disparity of McDonald's lowest and highest wage earners is appalling. The CEO of McDonald's makes over $9,000 an hour, while the average worker makes just eight twenty-five. dollars That ain't right. La desigualdad de ingresos entre los dueños de McDonald's y personas normales que trabajan en las tiendas es terrible. El CEO de McDonald's gana más de $9,000 cada hora, cuando los trabajadores corrientes de McDonald's ganan por lo menos $8,25 cada hora. No es justo. We are calling on your boss, as the largest McDonald's franchise owner in the Des Moines area, to raise the wage of your employees to a living wage, $15 an hour. You can lead by example. Higher wages benefit employees, the city of Des Moines, and you. It is a dueño, uh, well, pues, estás aquí para hablar con el dueño, obviamente, uh, de McDon este McDonald's franquicia, que es lo más grande en toda la área de Des Moines. Entonces, queremos que aumente los salarios de sus empleados, un salario soportable de 15 dólares cada hora. Puede dirigir, por ejemplo, sueldos más altos son mejores para los trabajadores en la ciudad de Des Moines y usted como un dueño. Across the country, corporations like Gap, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Walmart are taking it upon themselves to raise the wages of their employees in absence of legislation. We hope you'll join them. Corporation, corporaciones como Gap, TJ Maxx, Marshalls y Walmart están aumentando los salarios de trabajadores en todo el país sin propósitos de ley de los Estados Unidos. Esperamos que una sea a ellos. We hope to meet with you in the near future to discuss this important issue. Esperamos que podemos reunir con usted en el futuro para discutir este tema importante. For a better Iowa and a better workplace, the undersigned CCI members. Para un Iowa mejor eh, son los trabajadores. And I just want to let you know that we did have some workers all um, from the Raccoon Valley Partners with us. Um, at some point, we would love to have a meeting with Steve Matson or the representatives of Raccoon Valley Partners to discuss this stuff. Um, and I have my card here. He can go ahead and give me a call. We'll be in contact sometime in the next couple weeks. Okay? Thank you for listening Thank to us. Thank you for have listening. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fight for 15! Fight for 15! Fight for 15! Sorry I was not able to get the 15!
Item 15. I want to Item 15. Let Item 15. her see what she is being recorded. Item 15. Item 15. And now we are going back to the bus. Yeah, saying fight for 15 as we leave. And flowers are being planted on the cars in the slot. As what was done at the McDonald's lot. This is a shorty, but this is good to present this issue to a franchise owner. Well, he was not there, the secretary did uh, receive us. So this is only the beginning in this campaign. There will be future actions called Fast Food Fridays, but because that is my day to go to the mosque, I may not be able to participate, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the stream down as I get in the bus. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the street.